John Cornyn, our recently re-elected senior senator from Texas, was in town Monday to help out with the Central Texas Food Bank distribution at the Burger Center. And he did take a few minutes to answer some questions, including this one that's on lots of people's minds these days. What's up with Trump? It's the time to pull the plug on these lawsuits uh, regarding the election, and let's move on. Well, obviously, uh, I think the outcome is uh, becoming increasingly clear. Um, I think it is important to make sure that the people who did vote for President Trump feel like uh, feel like uh, the, the election was fair and that he had an opportunity to make his case. But as you know, uh, you got to have evidence, and uh, it seems like evidence of a systemic uh, problem with our election seemed to be uh, wanting at this point. But I think it's helpful to let the process run its course. I have no doubt that uh, the transition will proceed smoothly as uh, a tradition that started with George Washington uh, at the beginning of our history. So I'm, uh, I'm confident we will uh, see that smooth transition. I'm glad to see that the vice president and, uh, and his uh, running mate are already beginning to get the briefings. He's already talking about naming cabinet appointees. So uh, this transition is proceeding apace. Do you believe there's any chance Donald Trump will take the oath of office for a second term on January 20th? I think the chances of that happening are, are decreasing by the by the day, and uh, so I fully expect, unless there's some surprise that none of us know anything about right now, that uh, Joe Biden will be the next president. Is it time for GSA to ascertain that Joe Biden is the president-elect so the transition can move forward? Ken, I honestly don't know what their criteria are, but I do. I can tell you that the that the briefings are are proceeding now. Uh, the ice is melting, and I think soon we will see a, 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 an increase um, trend toward uh, the transition. But is President Trump's current behavior productive for the nation? Listen, you're not going to change President Trump. Half of the half of the half of the voters loved him, and the other half not so much. Uh, you're not going to change him. So. This is uh, something that the uh, voters got a chance to pass judgment on on November the 3rd. I think we're beginning to see with some clarity what the outcome in the election is. And uh, it's a, been a closer election than many of us thought.